Hey guys, gonna work on a Jeep a little bit today, see if I can get something done. Gonna do a lot with this gizmo, the old needle scaler. So stick around and watch what I'm up to. Well, let's see if I can get lucky and get these screws to come out. This is that little protector shield for the uh, gas filler hose. I don't know, let's see, we'll try shaking them loose with this. I bet they snap. Wow, right out. Oh, they're like a little lag screw. Oh, so they're coming right out. They probably won't come out on the other side so easy because that is where my rust is. You see right there, I got my rust hole, got these bolts, see if we can get them out. I like using the impactor for shaking these things loose. Oh, came right out. Oh, looky there. Ain't that pretty. All I got is one more to go. Ah, oh, there is just dirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, it ain't that bad. This thing's not in too bad a shape. Looks like it's fairly decent. It's got surface rust on it. It's got some dirt behind it. This thing should be rotted away completely, but not bad. Okay, I'm gonna cut out this rotten spot. Maybe I'm gonna try to cut it out in all one piece and then I'll see if I can use that as a pattern to recreate it. You know, I like the fact that we have glasses in our modern society, but they're a pain in the neck. Especially with goggles. I don't wear goggles anymore since I got that chip in my eye that time. That really was not fun. That was a week of agony. Then I finally went to the doctor. Anyway, so I got this cut out. I'm going to see what I can recreate. This, and I got this piece. Oops. Between the two of them, I should be able to piece this together. I gotta remember which way it goes. Oh, I gotta figure this out. Okay, like that. And then this piece goes like that. Or something. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go make one. Well, I've discovered that the, uh, the laws of nature abhor a empty flat spot. Anytime I have a flat spot in here, it gets stacked. So I gotta clean this off first. Then I get to my shear, then I'll make that piece. Piece of exhaust pipe with a bend in it. 
and an old sawzall blade. Rattles now. I get a little more. Whoa, gotta be careful. Fly right out of it if I hit you hard. That ought to do it. Like, share, subscribe. All right, I'm gonna spray some primer on these parts I just made. Okay guys, so I got this patch made up for the Jeep. I, I, I've uh, got it so it fits in there pretty nice. And now I'm gonna try this thing out. Yeah, the old uh, central electric welding 20, 240 volt spot welder. Yeah, Harbor Freight. We'll give it a try anyway. It's got a real light duty cord. It is a two, 240 volt. So I gotta hook it into my 240 volt, which is 50 amp mostly. Hopefully I don't burn this wire to the ground. But anyway, um, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see if it works. I better move you guys back a little just in case the sparks fly. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this. Yeah, I've got a pretty heavy cord coming to a light cord. So it's not ideal. It's not exactly what I wanna do, but some reason I'm doing it anyway. Flip the switch. Ooh, it makes a humming noise. I've never used this before, but it looks like it's a five second thing. So if I clamp it there, I probably don't want to hang on to it. I got it clamped, I hit the button. And it did nothing. Man, I want it primed. I don't want it to be bare metal between there. Maybe I'll seam seal it around the edge when I'm done. That's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna weld it in three spots. So I ground off those three spots. I bet if I use that copper-based weld through primer, this would have worked. But I don't know, I'll experiment next time on that. So I gotta line it up where I want it, just like that. Try it again. Right about there. Not. Well, this thing might be a piece of crap. Uh, huh. Big cables hooked up, that's hooked up. Two bare pieces, let's see what happens. Maybe I'm not cramming it in there tight enough. I don't know. Let's see. All right, so I got it clamped in there. Whoa! Maybe I was flipping the button the wrong way. <laughs> well, it don't come apart. <laughs> Why don't it come apart? whole thing welded itself together. Oh, that came off. Yeah. A little hot. Took some copper with it. Maybe I need to go tighter. Oh, that's, that is stuck. All right. Now let's try it on our piece. See what happens. The button has a two-way switch. The switch is two-way. And I think maybe it was just, I was just going the wrong way with it. Nothing. Nothing. I guess I gotta clean it off better. Somehow I'm just not making a contact. Maybe I gotta tighten down the jaw a little bit. Let me try that. I think it takes a little pressure. 
Oh, that's more pressure. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Now that welded it, but the thing is it, it stuck again. I think this thing's crap, but it's stuck together. I got one spot welded, but it slipped. It went off to the side and slipped as soon as I hit the button. Hmm. I was thinking this would be neat with long jaws. You could actually weld a car together with it. You know what it did when it slipped? Look what it did. It slipped my piece off sat. So now my piece don't line up. What in the world? Ugh, now I gotta see how good it is because I gotta pull it apart. Really kind of stuck there. Well, evidently it works good because I can't pull it apart. <laughs> I can't pull it apart. Ugh. All right, there's gotta be a way to pull it apart. All right, so I'm gonna use a chisel, air chisel, knock it apart. Yeah, I'm not super proud of it, but we're gonna dine glass that thing shut and that'll be that. Well, I got a little bit done on that Jeep. I did wind up getting that um, spot welder working. Uh, I just didn't get it on film, but anyway, it looks like it's useful. I originally had big dreams of somehow using it to weld body panels together and stuff like that, but too huge, cumbersome, just not gonna work for that. But it's probably got a purpose for just sticking stuff together once in a while and it'll work good on that. A uh, little fender piece I made there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one.